leaked Season 6 maps, Silver Team customization, as well as a first look of the repair field coming into Halo Infinite later in Season 5. So if you want to know everything, make sure to stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. The Season 6 map leaks kind of originates from this tweet from formerly Halo.API, now Grunt.API due to copyright reasons, saying Season 6 looking like an arena, looks like kind of like a quotation circle kind of thing, maybe like a ring in some capacity, and then also BT probably has a big team battle, desert and showing point down below to this image which is a image from the map tacular map pack back in halo 2 which brought the map relic as you can see in the background of this picture also did you know that 77 percent of people who are watching this channel are not subscribed if you want to keep up to date with everything going on with halo and gaming well you know what to do then this tweet from our favorite leaky boy sir asia also corroborates saying a space elevator as a dev made forge map question mark coming soon to halo infinite alongside three others ultimately being showcased by delta archive here known on youtube to share various leaks of relic oni ship snow fire which would be like a live fire snow version and elevation they actually did provide some screenshots of course i say just relic they didn't provide the actual images of any kind of leaked things happening here but i have seen other information about relic coming into the game which does look very credible so i would highly expect to see this come into the game and we also have oni ship which obviously they show midship here we do know that unique and his community recently created an amazing recreation of midship in halo infinite's forge the community made recreation and a matchmaking ready recreation are two very different things so i wouldn't expect to see that map be ported in but we could see possibly some form of a midship recreation in some capacity which would be kind of odd as we already have that within halo infinite because we already have the map starboard by pone jones which is an amazing recreation and a reimagining i would say more of the map midship so it'd just be redundant to put this into the game i've tried to cooperate to see if Oni ship as in midship coming into match making a more true recreation uh they didn't really seem to line up super well so this might not be true but just keep an eye that there is another map with a reference of Oni in some capacity coming into Halo Infinite this is kind of the nature of leaks and rumors where it's all just like partial information kind of put together and there's everyone just kind of coming to a general consensus of what this information means so really it's more just kind of like take it as their word knowing that something about an oni ship is coming as a map in some capacity they reference the map snowfire which is going to be well you can tell right here a snowy recreation of live fire which might be part of the winter contingency event which is something i think we've all really wanted to see for the longest time here of just like a snowed up version of like what's already in matchmaking put in four just kind of overlay something just to make it more kind of part of the theme of what winter contingency is all about i'm really excited about this this is what we wanted the longest amount of time and seeing that finally happen within halo infinite it took us about a year and a half to get to where we need to be when it comes to this game being a true live service but i think we're finally getting there especially with this kind of map i uh, hope to see this with other maps in matchmaking as well being the snow theme we saw this previously in halo 5 right so i'd be really excited to see this come into the game and of course once we get some more information with winter contingency coming around in december i'll let you guys know here on the channel another leaked map is the map elevation this takes place in the space on a space elevator which is gonna be a really interesting theme to see what 343 can do with this they have seemed to lean more towards the uh, more social side of things when it comes to map recreation and having some more fun with the map design so with this map we could definitely see some kind of like low gravity area or something like that i don't know if you guys remember the map condemned from halo reach i would maybe see something like that kind of happen that would be pretty interesting have like the center area be low gravity or have some kind of more social elements tied to the maps to make it more interactive i feel like that's something that's been missing from 343 maps in halo infinite for the longest time but i think 343 is starting to lean into that a little bit more to get the maps a little more character make them a little bit more rememberable this is also supposed to be a forge recreation so we might not actually get any dev made maps for season six again this is all speculation kind of seeing what's out there right now for the information that we're getting but if we get like four new maps in a season compared to just two maps i mean that's just more content for me to play around with and have some fun and forge is amazing enough to sometimes you can't even tell the difference between a dev made map and a forge made map and from all the information that i've heard about the inner goings of 343 that a lot of people who have worked there and were in the process of making maps were actually laid off and so either a lot of devs are trying to pick up some of the work that was left behind or just completely dropping 
some maps that were made because, you know, it's been a big year of change for 343. And so what I've heard is that they want to lean more into Forge content. So then you have one, the community help create things and also devs help create things. Help speed up that process when it comes to that content flow coming in for the live service of Halo Infinite, which makes sense is that's what we have seen in the last few seasons of Halo Infinite, leaning more into Forge content so we can have some more new fun experiences to play in the game, which I'm all for. I don't really care how it's made. I just care that it functions well and it's fun. Now we have some Halo TV show news. Is not the show itself, but stuff that's actually coming into the game. You know how they should have done it like a year ago when the show came out? Well, it looks like it's finally coming around as Halo if it's generally been about a year behind every kind of bit of promotion, everything like that, is that it looks like we'll have some silver team customization coming into Halo Infinite. As you can see right here, we have the helmet of Kai125 right here. And then we have, next one, we have Vanek right here, which I have actually always liked these helmets and the armor that they had within the TV show. I think this is really cool to see this come into the game finally. This is what should have been there when the season one first came out, but I'm assuming with a lot of the issues with the development of 343 and Halo Infinite, that this is probably why this got delayed quite a bit. Glad to see this coming around, but I don't know when this will be put into the game. I'm hoping relatively soon. Knowing Halo Infinite in 343, they could just throw this into the game just to kind of be like, hey, remember the TV show kind of stuff, which I mean, sure, I guess, but you'd like to see this kind of timed up with the TV show to kind of ride that hype a little bit more. Uh, every bit of information I've looked up when it comes to the Halo TV show with season two's release has been non-existent. There's no time frame that's been set in stone or even mentioned in some capacity. So we would probably have to wait to maybe March of 2024 is when we could see the next season of the Halo TV show come out. Of course, once we do get some information about it, I'll share with you guys here on the channel. Now we've had a full week to try out the Bandit Evo rifle in Halo Infinite's ranked mode, which is currently the most popular mode within Halo Infinite. I've seen a lot of people in the comments from my previous video talking about this, that they actually are going to really miss the battle rifle. They think that's a bad move to move away from the battle rifle. Though I'm going to be making a video comparing the Bandit rifles together and the battle rifle all together in one video coming out here very soon. So if you want to catch that video, make sure you tap subscribe. I do think this is going to be a good change for the ranked experience of Halo Infinite. Let me show you a few clips why. Here's a clip posted by Snipe down here. And keep in mind how low health he's been in these engagements and how well he plays these players right here. See, very low health right here. Kind of challenges out, see what's going on. Does get just up to full shield, but then obviously outstrafes the guy. Per perfect sim and that's exactly what we're talking about when it comes to why the professional players want to switch away from the battle rifle to something more like the bandit a single shot weapon as it just has less margin of error less a little bit less forgiveness as well where you have to be much more pinpoint accurate which is all about the ranked experience and so giving players the opportunity to really showcase why they're better at the game having strafing be much more of an option within gunfights because a lot of times with the battle rifle it has a of a spread to it and you can easily take down players with a bit of a swipe where you can't really do that with the bandit evo rifle where you have to be pinpoint accurate just like how you did back in reach just like how you did back in halo 5 when it came to the ranked experience so this might actually be a good change but it's not only pro players are enjoying the bandit evo rifle some more casual players are definitely good at the game and been known within the halo community showcasing right here how he's been one shot right here the whole time and all he's able to do is just utilize cover strafe a little bit more be a little more agile he's able to walk away from that gunfight if there were battle rifles in players hands in this situation especially right there as well this player would have been dead easily, but you can see how the Bandit Evo rifle does help showcase skill a little bit more. Of course, guys, I'm going to be making a video showcasing how different all three of these starting weapons are and why the Bandit Evo rifle might be the best choice for the ranked experience of Halo Infinite. Lastly, let's showcase the repair field that's coming in later in the season of Season 5. And we actually do get a rough estimate of the release date with this as Delta Archive, once again, on YouTube showcases this, saying that the repair field equipment will arrive with Firefight in the middle of the season, which that's a pretty vague estimate when that's coming in. I'm assuming that Firefight might come in with Winter Contingency event. Again, that's just my speculation, but we'll just have to wait and see, but you can see how it kind of looks a little rough right here, but you see the icon and stuff like that. And if you move forward a little bit, we see how it looks when you actually deploy the repair field. And the interesting thing about this is that it repairs Spartans as well as vehicles. So this is gonna be a crucial item to have for one in BTB, maybe even in arena, especially within firefight as firefight's gonna be king of the hill variant. You're gonna have to stand right in the middle of a very hot spot that's gonna be pointing all the action 
be a very condensed location so a repair field will be very useful and you can see we're here using it on the vehicle looking kind of janky at the moment maybe it's just an animation to showcase that it is being repaired but this is really great to see that there is a repair option when it comes to vehicles within halo infinite so i'm very excited to see how how this repair field actually plays out within halo infinite because how many times you've played like big team battle and your vehicle is all damaged but you brought it back to the base and you're like well there's not really much usage left in this so you just kind of leave a damaged vehicle behind and grab something else that's brand new use a repair field build that back up and bring that warhog or that vehicle back into the field of play which is a great gameplay addition we've never had before within halo infinite and i think this could be extremely useful it'll be very interesting to see how the community plays around with the repair field as well maybe this might be some new game modes or something like that kind of tied in with the forge content just keep building that sandbox 343 and the community will do the rest but thank you for watching i'll catch you in the next one peace out